if you ask me, it was one of the greatest stories ever told. How one man went from underground rapper to cab cabinet lifestyle connoisseur. This is my story. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of rule. Really get into this the right way, we gotta go back to like 2006. I'm not even gonna get into like, you know, Mass Pike and all that. You know, if you don't know who Mass Pike is, then you need to do your Googles. But um, 2006, uh, I was kind of burnt out from the music industry. I was independent, had my own label. Uh, wondering what else I can get into uh, that could make me a lot more money than I was making at the time, independently in the music biz and, you know, Something that really had nothing to do with music. I just wanted a break, man. I've been going hard for, you know, many, many years from the major label to independent, the touring, you know, the everyday grind of the independent scene back then was a lot different because we didn't have the internet heavy. It wasn't, you know, it was actually grinding, you know, like <laughs> physically grinding, you know what I mean? Where nowadays you just press a button. Anyway, so, you know, something just fell into my lap, really. It was um, totally left field and totally something I don't think I would ever be interested in. But I was dealing with a, 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 a young lady back in the day who, you know, had a friend that would, owned an escort service. And this escort service was for the pleasure of men by women, which most escort services are. I was... Um, conversation was had, you know, by some women, you know, uh, I overheard talking about wishing, you know, they're professional women in their maybe mid 40s and they were wishing that there was, you know, a service that men offered for women like them and they'd be willing to pay for it and all this kind of stuff. So I take a lot of things literally, I study everything study women in general. Then I started studying markets, the market for, you know, that type of service. And what I figured out is that there is a huge demand for that type of service. It's just on the low, you know. Um, but uh, that's basically what I did. I created an all-male escort service for the pleasure of women only. And, um, most male escort services that you hear about are for, the, are for the pleasure of men by men. Mine was for women by men. So it was a little different, but there's a huge market for that. And I did that, you know, uh, that's a whole nother story. I don't even want to get into too heavy because I wrote a screenplay based on it. And also the, uh, a book is in the works and I did an album my first Crushed Grapes album was actually based off that service. That's out of print right now, so good luck trying to find it. But um, I'm definitely going to re-release it. Anyway, uh, that is that was the, the beginning of the Crushed Grapes lifestyle. That was the beginning of, really, of Cab Cabernet lifestyle connoisseur because I started getting into you know, other other products and services and, and, and different ideas were sparked just by me dealing with women of a certain caliber and echelon that consume certain men, you know. So my question to myself was, well, what else do these women consume on a daily basis besides men? And the answer came up, you know, oh, you know, they're in the lingerie, they're into uh, wine, they, 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 they travel a lot, they... They're into, um, you know, hair products and makeup and perfume and, you know, all these female lifestyle uh, accessories and brands. It's all, you know, it's luxury lifestyle stuff, um, wanting to be luxurious. And they're also in the men that are in the cigars and, you know, you know, it's, it's a lifestyle. And so Crush Grapes Lifestyle, the brand actually first was... Um, believe it or not, it was a female-driven uh, brand. 
and um, it turned into a more gentleman's brand as the years went on just because of the circles I was moving in and um, dealing with a lot of businessmen and etc etc but now you know fast forward to 2017 uh, you know, we got a fishing out of footwear, the first cigar lifestyle footwear on the planet. We have Enafile footwear, the first uh, uh, a wine lifestyle sneaker on the planet. Uh, Crush Rapes lifestyle accessories. We have um, circa 41 cigars and wine uh, coming soon. And just trying to align, align the brand with different, you know, um, entities and organizations and you know celebs and people that um can bring more value to the brand um so in a nutshell that's that's how cab cabernet was born and and that's how i went from this underground rapper to uh cab cabernet lifestyle connoisseur these are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of.